shear stress in beam um, we have calculated before uh, the bending stress uh, which is known as also uh, flexor formula in this section we're going to calculate the shear shear stress formula shear stress in beam shear stress in beam Uh, to calculate that we need to review some basics so imagine that we have a section 2 by 4 like this and then it is simply supported just two reaction force at the corner and then we got a force applied here P 2 by 4 section so the beam look like this like that that's the cross section so it's a 2 by 4 cross section like this if we apply forces like that then this beam will kind of become like this like this and imagine that it is made of with a um, bunch of layers like that so what's gonna happen is this layer is start to slide against each other like that so that causes the horizontal shear so horizontal shear due to the imaginary shear uh, imaginary planes sharing each other horizontal shear imagine that those planes are sharing against each other so that is horizontal shear now in in earlier concept we have seen that this horizontal shear is same as the vertical shear vertical shear now this uh, vertical shear formula that we are going to develop is expressed using a v now if we draw the um, shear force and bending moment diagram for uh, this uh, section so here I'm just gonna extend this line up to there so if this is P it's gonna go up P here like that go all the way some P and then go down and go like that and it's gonna go like this sorry about that so there is the shear stress shear vertical shear force diagram which we have seen in the in chapter 13 if we draw the moment diagram that's where the moment is going to be highest so it will be like this so that's the moment diagram if we take um, this two very small area of the beam just this small cross section not cross section a small section X and try to see what's going on in that to develop the formula so let's imagine that this point is D this is a B this is a and then B as D point and that's E point in the earlier cases in from the flexor formula we have seen that the bending stress can be calculated if B is moment times Y by I so if you want to calculate um, that bending stress at point D it's gonna be basically M D I Y or uh, bending stress at uh, point E will be this is at D this is at E will be M E I Y like that now if we want to I kind of switched sorry that one should be D this E so if we want to calculate the force uh, acting on this small piece if we draw this small piece let's take a cross section here of the beam so imagine that this is the uh, two by uh, four section and then uh, this is the neutral axis and take a small section here uh, this with area a 
and it is y distance from and uh, the neutral axis that is the y from this is the neutral axis so if you want to calculate force from this stress simply we can uh, multiply a p times a so stress times a will give us the force let's multiply both side y a so this is the force on this uh, plane e so if you want to show the plane e that's gonna look like this that is plane e that is plane e that is plane d so that's plane d so on plane e the force we can calculate like this now if you want to calculate the all forces then it would be summation of um, so let's say we want to calculate force at plane e so we can do summation of all of these um, not all of these um, so we are just taking on this small piece if we want to see this entire um, entire area e then it's gonna be summation of all these forces so we here we just draw a section at y distance from the neutral axis so if this is the neutral axis for example we took a very small section uh, on the um, y-axis right here on this picture but if you want to see what's going on on the entire plane then it's going to be summation of all the forces so we can write m e i y a and then this we can take this summation sign here um, because m e and i is a constant so summation of a y as you can see that is basically the area uh, moment more area moment moment of this small piece uh, small area so we can call this uh, this Q is called the area moment or it is known as statistic statical statistical moment of the area A statistical moment of the small area of the area now similarly we can calculate the force on the plane d so pd we can write m e m d i q something like that now the the difference between these two forces actually causes shear because if you look at these layers, layers, this layer, layers of fibers um, kind of rubbing against each other. So if these uh, both forces are same, then there will be no shear. So what causes this shear is basically the difference in the uh, force. Um, um, if both planes are having the same force then there will be no share so there should be some difference in force which causes that share so that we can write m e minus m d divided by i q so that is the share force now we can calculate the share force from the vertical shear f v um, we know that this uh, the width of this section is B width of the beam is B and then we took a section X so what we can do so if this is the that's B width of the beam and then we took a section X so then the um, we can write this force as shear stress times the um, area bx like that and that is equal to this me minus md by i times q therefore if v we can write 
m e minus m d by i b x uh, q now we have seen before that the moment um, the moment between these two point in the moment curve this is the moment curve can be calculated by the area under the shear curve so if we want to get the area for uh, in the moment between E and D, we can simply calculate the area between um, the E and D point on the shear curve. So the area would be, this is X, and then this um, this vertical, let's imagine that uh, this this is, this shear, shear force, this vertical shear is indicated by V. So what we can do about, instead of that ME minus MD, we can write the area under the shear curve which is Vx by Ibx Q Fv. So Fv, the equation become Q Vq by Ib. So that is the vertical shear formula Fb equal to Vq by Ib.